Goose is an on-machine open source AI agent that's capable of automating all kinds of tasks. Goose is available as both a CLI and a desktop application. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with the CLI. I'll show you how to install Goose on your machine, configure Goose with an LLM provider, and even get Goose to build out a fun little game. So let's jump right in. To install the Goose CLI, you'll need to copy this curl command from the quick start page in the docs. Then open up your terminal and paste it in. Running this command will install Goose on your machine and then also start the configuration process. This is where you can configure your LLM provider. Select configure providers, and you can see we have a long list of providers that you can choose from. So feel free to use whichever provider you like. I'm going to select open router and then paste in my API key. Finally, the model I'm going to use is Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet. We recommend using this model or OpenAI's GPT 4.0 model as they work best for Goose's tool calling capabilities. If at any point you want to change your provider or model, you can run Goose Configure to access that same menu again. Also, if at any point you want to update Goose to the latest version, you can run Goose Update. Now that you've got Goose installed and configured, you're ready to start a session. To do that, run Goose Session. I'm going to ask Goose to create an interactive browser-based tic-tac-toe game in JavaScript where a player competes against a bot. I'll let Goose work its magic, and once it's done, I can close my session by hitting Control C, and I can see that Goose has created these three files for my tic-tac-toe game. This is already really cool, but let's take this one step further and give Goose the ability to open up our game in a web browser. To do that, we need to add an extension. Extensions are essentially add-ons that extend Goose's capabilities by connecting with different applications. And they're built on the model context protocol, which means you can connect Goose with a wide variety of applications. To add an extension, run Goose Configure and select Add Extension. The extension we want to use is a built-in extension, and it's called Computer Controller. This extension provides Goose with general computer controls for automations, such as opening up a web browser. Finally, set the timeout to be 300 seconds. We can resume our previous session by running Goose Session R. I'll tell Goose to open up the index.html file in a browser, and here it is, a fully functional tic-tac-toe game. This is just the beginning of what's possible with Goose. For more workflows, tips, and deep dives, check out our documentation, as well as our YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. Now, go build something great.